Okay, can I ask you about Hong Kong's uh, democratic development yes. under the South China Morning Post? Um, were you reassured by what you heard from, from Donald Trump? I, I'd, I'd like my colleagues to respond to that too. I, I, I think there have been significant overall progress. There are still issues of universal suffrage, of timetables. We now have the timetable moved to 2017, as we know. Um, but overall, I think that the progress has been satisfactory, although there continue to be concerns about the preservation of one of the really truly democratic countries in, in Asia in the respect that their, that their economy is so, uh, in, in many ways, uh, anti-protectionist, free trade, etc. And we'd like to see the political process move forward along those lines. In other words, the guarantees of universal suffrage and other progress that still needs to be to be made. And so I guess a lot of it depends on who you talk to. But overall, I think that we can be largely satisfied. As to the internal discussions in Hong Kong on how to organize their government, I find it fascinating. Uh, I don't see how this system functions as well as it does, uh, where you have half the legislature elected by a few people, the other half elected by the population as a whole, and the chief executive is unelected. So I think there's some frustration on the part of everyone that there seems to be a better way. And, I hope the uh, Hong Kong people can find a better way. And as to Beijing, I hope they'll honor their commitments to allow universal suffrage in 2017 and election of the chief executive in 2020. I, I'll certainly be watching. It's something that I think most of us in the international community are going to judge China uh, by how they behave here. And uh, it seems that things are moving well, but it will be something I will be watching. And I hope China will keep its commitments to allow the people of Hong Kong uh, their freedom.